Let's get right into it. Number 7. Charles Bonnet Hallucinations Imagine your eyes slowly giving up on you, vision fading, but then, bam, suddenly your living room is full of tiny people in hats, or swirling patterns like a 90s screensaver on acid. This isn't early onset madness. It's called Charles Bonnet Syndrome. When people lose significant vision, their brain panics. Normally, your visual cortex is like a restaurant kitchen, constantly busy, constantly plating up new orders from your eyeballs. But when the food supply runs out, the kitchen staff doesn't just clock out. They start improvising. They whip up hallucinations, faces, animals, landscapes that have nothing to do with reality. The result is basically your brain throwing a hallucinogenic art show just to keep itself occupied. Unlike psychosis, people with this syndrome usually know it's not real. You don't genuinely think there's a marching band parading through your bathroom. You just watch it like, cool, I didn't buy tickets for this, but okay. Researchers think it's the brain's version of phantom limb syndrome. Just as amputees can feel a missing arm, your brain feels your missing eyesight by filling in the blanks with its own special effects. Sometimes it's geometric shapes. Sometimes it's full-on ghost apparitions. Sometimes it's random, like a giraffe sipping tea in your hallway. So yeah, if you're ever losing your vision and suddenly see cartoonish figures hanging out in your living room, don't panic. It's just your brain saying, fine, no input, I'll make my own Netflix series. Number 6. Pareidolia Overdrive You glance at the clouds and, hey look, it's a dragon. Or you notice your car's front grille looks suspiciously like it's smiling at you. Welcome to Pareidolia, the art of your brain seeing things that aren't actually there. Humans are wired to detect faces, patterns, and meaning even when the universe is just serving up randomness. Evolutionarily, it was safer to see a lion face in the bushes that turned out to be leaves than to miss the real lion hiding there. Fast forward, and now you're screaming at a tortilla because it looks like Jesus. Pareidolia is why people see ghosts in grainy security footage, or the Virgin Mary in a piece of toast, or why every electrical outlet looks vaguely horrified. Your visual cortex is like an overzealous conspiracy theorist. It connects dots that don't exist, invents patterns, and insists that the tree bark is obviously watching you. Neuroscientists discovered that the fusiform face area of your brain is particularly trigger-happy. It would rather throw a hundred false alarms. That's a face. That's a face. That's a face. Then miss one actual human face. This is why cars, houses, and even plugs get anthropomorphized into cartoon characters in your head. So the next time you're giggling at the happy face on your morning pancake, remember, it's not divine intervention. It's just your brain running Windows XP Face Recognition 2000, and it's a little glitchy. Number 5. The Missing Staircase Step You're climbing a staircase, half distracted, and suddenly your foot lands on a step that isn't there. You lurch forward like a malfunctioning robot, and for one horrifying second, gravity wins. That's the missing step illusion, your brain's predictive software glitching in real time. Here's how it works. Your motor system is cocky. It doesn't wait for each step to confirm itself. It predicts where the next stair should be based on rhythm, spacing, and habit. Most of the time it's flawless. Your legs do their little choreography without you thinking. But if the staircase ends sooner than expected, or one step is taller, shorter than normal, the prediction crashes. Suddenly, your body does a panicked stumble like you've just been shoved by an invisible prankster. Neurologically, this is your cerebellum's fault, the part of your brain in charge of balance and coordination. It's like an overconfident GPS yelling, Turn left now! into a lake. When the world doesn't match the prediction, you get that split-second freefall terror. What makes it worse is how exaggerated the stumble feels. You don't just miss a step, you flail like you're falling into the abyss. Your whole nervous system slams the panic button, flooding your body with adrenaline for what is essentially tripping over geometry. So yeah, next time you do the awkward stair stumble in public, just remember, it wasn't clumsiness. It was a tiny hallucination of the floor's location. Basically, your brain gaslit your feet. Number 4. Phantom Limbs Imagine losing an arm or a leg, but still feeling it. Itching, burning, moving, existing, like a ghost attached to your body. That's Phantom Limb Syndrome one of the strangest and most persistent hallucinations your nervous system can cook up. Here's the sciency but fun version. Your brain has a body map, a kind of avatar of you called the homunculus. Even if your limb is gone, the map doesn't get the memo right away. So when neurons fire in the old arm zone, you feel it as though your arm is still there. It's like your brain is running outdated software with missing files. And it's not just gentle sensations. Some people feel their phantom hand clenching so hard it hurts. Others swear their missing foot gets cold in the winter. One guy even reported feeling his phantom toes tapping along to music, which is wild. Your brain is basically inventing a virtual reality limb with haptic feedback. Treatment? Mirror therapy is a thing. You put your intact limb in front of a mirror, 
Trick your brain into seeing two limbs, and sometimes the phantom pain eases. It's like hacking your brain with a visual cheat code. So if you ever hear someone say they feel an itch in a leg that doesn't exist anymore, they're not messing with you. Their brain really is hallucinating part of their body like it's the world's least funny practical joke. Number 3. Hypnagogic Hallucinations Picture this. You're lying in bed, drifting off, and suddenly you see a shadowy figure at the foot of your bed, or you hear someone calling your name, or worse, you feel a presence sitting on your chest. Congratulations, you've unlocked Hypnagogic Hallucinations, the horror movie trailer that sometimes plays when you fall asleep. These happen in that twilight zone between wakefulness and sleep, when your brain is partially dreaming but you're still semi-conscious. It's like someone spliced together real life and nightmare footage and hit play. You might see flashes of faces, geometric shapes, or full-on intruders. Some people hear voices, music, or whispers. Others feel their body floating, spinning, or being touched. And because your body is paralyzed during REM sleep, thanks, biology, you can't move, which is why so many people throughout history swore demons or witches were sitting on them, when in reality, it was just their own brain doing creepy improv theater. The scary part? Your amygdala, the fear center, lights up like a Christmas tree during these episodes, which is why the hallucinations are often terrifying instead of, say, friendly puppies handing out tacos. So yeah, if you've ever thought you saw a demon in your bedroom while half asleep, it wasn't hell opening up, it was your brain saying, good evening, and welcome to our free psychological haunted house. Number 2. The Gansfeld Effect Close your eyes and imagine lying in a room with nothing but constant white noise in your ears and a uniform field of color over your eyes. Within minutes, your brain starts to freak out. You'll hear voices, see shapes, maybe even hallucinate full-blown scenes. This is the Gansfeld Effect, basically Sensory Deprivation's Arts and Crafts Project. Your brain hates a blank canvas. Normally, it's bombarded with sights, sounds, and tactile feedback. But when you strip that away, it doesn't just sit there quietly. It starts generating its own stimulation, like a bored toddler drawing on the walls. With no external input, your visual cortex begins to cough up dots, swirls, or even landscapes. Your auditory cortex throws in phantom voices or music. Pretty soon, your mind is basically running Windows Screensaver, Chaos Edition. Scientists have used this effect to study hallucinations under controlled conditions. The recipe is simple. Give the brain total monotony and it'll invent meaning. That's why people floating in isolation tanks report meeting shadowy figures or hearing cosmic whispers. It's not enlightenment. It's your neurons being dramatic. The real kicker? The hallucinations can feel indistinguishable from reality. People swear they saw things as vivid as dreams, except while fully awake. That's how fragile perception really is. Take away reality's input, and your brain just spins its own substitute show. So if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to trip without substances, the Gansfeld effect is your brain's built-in hallucinogen dispenser. Who knew silence and pink-tinted ping-pong balls could be psychedelic? Number 1. Hypnic Jerks Picture this. You're nodding off in class, or during that work meeting where Steve is explaining spreadsheets for the twelfth time. Suddenly, your whole body jolts like you've just tripped off a cliff. That's a hypnic jerk, also known as your nervous system's cruel way of testing your reflexes at bedtime. The weird part? The brain sometimes attaches a mini-dream to the sensation. You don't just twitch, you hallucinate falling off a ladder, missing a step, or slipping off a skateboard you never owned. It's the equivalent of your subconscious adding special effects to your nightly Netflix binge. Biologically, it happens because your muscles relax as you're falling asleep, and your brain, being paranoid, interprets that relaxation as, uh-oh, we're collapsing, better send in the emergency jumpstart. It's like your nervous system mistaking nap time for a cliff diving competition. Evolutionary theory says it might date back to when humans slept in trees. Your body's twitch was basically a safety check to make sure you weren't about to plummet to your doom. In modern times, the only thing you're falling into is your own dignity. When you jolt awake and everyone on the plane sees you karate chop your tray table. So yes, that random full body spasm before sleep? Totally normal. Think of it as your nervous system auditioning for America's Got Talent with slapstick comedy. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.